Mm, what is that smell? Because there's something funky going on in the NFL right now. First, the Cowboys, they getting ready to sit down and have a nice Texas barbecue dinner. And they're like, mm, mm, this thing looks so good. But you know what? Before we bless this food, you know what? Let's go ahead and bless Jalen Smith with his release. Let's go ahead and cut him. Because you know what? We don't want him to enjoy this wonderful meal with us. It's time to move on in a different direction. He was a liability. So you know what? Heading into week five. Heading into week five. Let's cut this player. We'll take on all the dead money. No problem. And we'll release him. And that just had me like, what? The timing of it was just so weird. So then the Patriots, the Patriots, they were getting ready. Last night they had their cream of crab and they were like, oh, man, this was so good. Oh, we loved it. Mm -mm -mm. And they had a great night's sleep. They went to bed, they had some sweet dreams, and they woke up like, oh, man, this would be a great day to cut Stefan Gilmore, and they did it. So now Stefan Gilmore is released. He was on the physically unable to perform list, and that list uh, keeps him out, well, kept him out the first six weeks at a minimum. Uh, and now since he's released, I believe he wouldn't be on that list anymore since he'd be a free agent. Uh, so with Stefan Gilmore... Um, once one of the best cornerbacks in the league, and of course this offseason, and he's still been one of the better cornerbacks in the league, but this offseason was rough. He was, of course, dealing with the quad injury, so he was hurt, and he was, of course, dealing with the feelings injury because he was hurt that the Patriots did not give him a raise. He wanted more money, and the Patriots were like, uh, you know what, we went way out of character when we initially signed you back then, because a lot of times I forget that he used to play for the Bills. It seems like that was so long ago. Seems like it was forever ago. But anyway, they were like, oh, yeah, we, we went out of all, out of all the ordinary for us, and we signed you to that big contract in free agency when we brought you over from Buffalo. But mm, we're not going to pay you big money now. We're not going to give you a raise now. We just don't think, nah, we're good. No thanks. So now Stefan Gilmore enters free agency, and you know, you know there are going to be plenty of teams interested in Stephon Gilmore, especially when he's healthy. But, I mean, just think about it. I, I think we can all agree. I think we, we all realize where Stephon Gilmore is most likely going to be headed to. He's probably going to link up with his boy again because, you know, they got some secondary issues over there. And the other, the other day in the game against, um, who were the Bucks playing? The Patriots. They, those cornerbacks, they were dropping like flies. Their cornerbacks been dropping like flies. So they, Brady probably going to send him a text. He probably sent Stephon Gilmore that text already. What's up, big head? Hey, 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 hey Stephon, it's been, it's been a minute, Steph. It's been a little minute. I know what you're thinking, and I'm thinking the same thing, too. Stephon Gilmore, you know what? Let's just cut all the talk. We ain't got to do all the small talk. We ain't got to do all the back and forth. I know you want to come here. You know you want to come here. Hey, we just won a Super Bowl last year. We had a nice squad last year, too. We got, of course, we got me, TB. We got my boy, AB. We got my boy, Mike E. Hey, we rolling. We got my boy, LG, LeGarrette. Anyway. So we, we, we stack. We got my boy, Rob G, of course. Like, come through. We got my boy, Chris G. Hey, so Stefan G, slide through, man. It only makes sense. And he probably told him, like, look, man, you can have some fun down here. Because you know Florida. Florida just a whole different vibe than up there in New, the New England area. Florida is a whole nother vibe. You know, we're down here, we tossing Super Bowl trophies around in the water and stuff. We getting drunk after the celebration. You, you want to go relive that again? You want that opportunity? I mean, we done already won a Super Bowl, so you already know what it's like. So, But you, you want to run it back again, Stefan? Come through. And, and you know, Stefan, Stefan probably sleep right now. He probably still knocked out. He, he, he probably doesn't even know the news yet. But you, you got to figure, like, Stefan Gilmore is probably going to be headed to Tampa. I mean, that's the first and most obvious choice um, because, again, Brady got those recruit recruitment skills. That is one thing. Uh, when it comes to Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, too, their recruitment skills are something serious. They both must have a, a mean talk game. 
Because of course, like Brady with again A B, like like and people want to win too. And they know wherever Brady goes, winning is gonna follow. Why? Well, you know, but anyway, wherever he goes, winning is gonna follow. Um, and then you see with the Patriots, like this dude, <laughs> Jamie Collins, like this dude has been uh, literally, literally tossed everywhere around the league, man. He has been everywhere. He has been signed to every team. He has been cut from every team. But the Patriots still found a way. Hey, come on, Jamie. Come back home, baby. Come on back. And, and it happened. And then, again, with Kyle Vinoy, they, they got rid of him. I think he went to the Dolphins. And Dolphins were like, mm, I don't know. And where did he end up? Right back with the Patriots. And, of course, this offseason, I mean, this offseason was a little out of character for them, too, because they were spending big money this offseason. Uh, but with Stefan Gilmore, one of the reasons I think they uh, released him, I think they're just, they're just ready to move on, ready to move on. But this season, uh, they got to see what life was like so far, of course, through the first four weeks. They got to see what life was like without a Stefan Gilmore. And they were like, oh, well, this is what it is. OK, and this is what it's going to be. So we, we were going to move on from you eventually, but you know what? Let's not even hold it up. Let's not waste any more time, and let's get it done. So now Stephon Gilmore, he's a free agent, and that's just a shocker, man. I just, I, I, I did not see that happening, but when you really think about it, um, it's not a surprise. Just the, the timing of it, though. Like, if you were to ask me, oh, do you think Stephon Gilmore is going to be with the Patriots after this season? I, oh, no. Mm -mm. No, not at all. Not after this season, but during this season. Oh, yeah. I think he'll be there for sure. And worst case scenario, okay, once he gets back healthy, maybe they'll trade him. But to outright cut him, no, nah, Patriots, they, they won't do that. And, boy, I would have been wrong, dead wrong. So we'll see where Stephon Gilmore ends up. <laughs> but, yeah, my, my uh, first bet would be uh, that he heads on down to Tampa to go link up with Tom Brady and them. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And uh, happy Wednesday.